also, you went on a trip. The whole process to... starts like this. Right. I'm walking through a garden with my camera, with my husband behind me very patiently waiting, and I'm taking pictures. And so what will happen is I get back from my trip, and I lay them all out and start to figure out how the pages are going to unfold and start the cutting and the pasting. And, you know, it could take a couple hours, could take days to do it, depending on... Sometimes you just get exhausted in the middle and you can't see the forest for the trees. One of the things, Charlotte, that you wrote that I love is dreaming is necessary. Mm. Not just if you're a creative person, but to realize the home of your dreams. Mm -hmm. Everyday life, dreaming is important. And I feel like your, your books are like book of dreams, what you hope, love, are inspired by. And, and you sort of have bound them together. And you've been doing this since you were a little girl. Well, for a long time. And, you know, and I think... You know, you, you can define dreaming a lot of different ways. I mean, dreaming could be dreaming about something different. Dreaming could just be just letting your mind float. Yes. Uh, it's not just a wish that you must have. No, it can be... But for me, scrapbooks are a way of capturing those, whether they were, you know, a dreamy trip um, that you just want to remember. And in the process of doing the scrapbooks, you get a chance to really let your mind sort of you know, so um, I am a trustee of Monticello. Um, it happens to be a very important place to me because it was one of my first class trips, so it was a very fond memory. Of, you know, I grew up down the road. And so when I became a trustee, I decided to um, capture every event in Monticello when I went down there. So is it, it isn't press. always just about your photos that you took. Oh, no. It can oh, be... No. Oh no! Historical aspects, um, articles, yes. and other things. Yes. yes. In, in this case, yes. Every dinner we have, we have. Um, board dinner, we have one black tie dinner, and we get an invitation that is a facsimile of the invitations that Thomas Jefferson sent to his dinner guest. So we have this. We have a program of our dinner, and um, we usually have guests that are non-trustees, and all everything from each dinner is um, is in here. I collage outside of doing collages in my scrapbook. You know, I'll collage it as, as a gift. I'll collage a picture. Um, you know, I've been collecting material for years to do collage as art. That's something that I really aspire to. And you told me many times your clients will look at your scrapbooks and get an idea for their own lives yeah, from well, your books, which I think, I think is great. I think if we're, like, about to do a garden or something, which we've done before, and we look through the garden books, you know, it becomes very clear to someone that they want an L.A., but they didn't know how to express that was the kind of L.A. they wanted. Can I see the garden scrapbook? Yeah, this isn't garden. This is France. Oh, France. Okay, oh, this good. is France. Yes. So this was a trip in 2006 um, where we rented a house uh, in the south and down near Ier. So I had a chance to go and visit Edith Wharton's house. You don't make a lot of appearances, so I'm happy know, to see you. I don't you like in, my picture taken. I, there's no documentation of me in my life I know, at all. I know. Right? I know. I'm always I'm behind the camera. Me too. There's a, I got, like, and I, I prefer that position quite me too. Um It's funny to see. I love to see the light blue oh. of the shutters because I am repainting an outdoor bench, and I thought, I want that light blue of in Provence. And my painter was like, are you sure? I said, just do it. Yes. But so if I had showed the picture, it would all make sense. But of course... Yeah, I know. How often... Are you busy documenting the actual moment? Just people say, oh, well, I'm so busy, I'm on the trip. No, no, I no, 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 no. I see everything, I hear everything, and I don't start photographing until I've absorbed. Ah, yes. Because I am so aware of, like, walking through Versailles or some famous chateau or house with people holding up cameras photographing, and I hear them whispering, where are we? Mm -hmm. Who lived here? They're just automatically doing it. They have no it. idea what they're looking at. Mm -hmm. They haven't informed themselves before they go. They've done nothing. That's just not my mm -hmm. motive. So you'll ready. absorb first yes. and then you document. So this is the most special, one of the most special of scrapbooks because... I didn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> and it was a gift in honor of you inspiring somebody. Yes, and someone that also scrapbooks. So, you know, what you find out is that, you know, you always hope that in all the time we spend writing these books, that we've inspired somebody else. And then you find that Eureka, you know, you have. Well, she read A Visual Life, and she was really inspired by it. And she gave me a gift of one of her scrapbooks. Oh, may I see? Yeah, and so then I had Paul Vogel make me a special box for it because this is it's a and, pretty special thing. And she will understand that that's the ultimate honor. Oh, is that you, like, they, to have Paul yes, you know, who memorialize does. it in this way. What I love is 
there's like a room and then there's details of what might have been in that room or other beautiful things. I mean, in this case, even an animal in a mud room. Um, well, how everything can inspire it, everything yes. else. It doesn't have to be only about gardens or only yeah. about a room. The way you pull in a monument from a trip with a rose, with a dog. With and they're a, all from different places. Exactly. And they're all from different places. What I love things. about this is that it's so clearly her work, but it's so clear how you've inspired her. And it says so much about what her aesthetic is. So if there's ever an argument for anyone to try to figure out who the hell am I? What the heck do I like? You know, what is my style? Get a glue stick and scissors and go to town. It will all become very obvious.